what happened to my daughter, not just here in Utah, I want it all over. All over. Well, welcome back. Details never revealed before in the Rosie Tapia murder investigation. Rosie Tapia kidnapped and murdered in 1995. Her killer has never been found. But Salt Lake City Police released new details about their investigation during a documentary on the Discovery Channel. Behind every crime, there's a story. The truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with the Justice Files. This is the first time Rosie Tapia's case has gone national. For her family, Rosie's story on the Discovery Channel gives them new hope. They found that the window screen had been pulled out from the outside. The window screen frame was bent. It was outside the window. Then there was a pry mark on top of the screen frame that indicated that something had been used to pry it out of place. Rosie's story was featured on Investigation Discovery Network hosted by Paula Zahn. Rosie's body was found in a canal about five hours after her mother learned she was missing in 1995. Her killer has never been found. Rosie's mother, Louine Tapia, was also featured in the episode. She was grateful for Rosie's story going beyond Utah's borders. I wanted a lot of people to know that what happened to my daughter. Before being dumped in the canal, Rosie was sexually assaulted and beaten. But her mother learned for the first time Rosie's killer held her under the water, causing her to drown. It horrified her mother. I said, how could any child endure something like that by herself with nobody there to help her? She says she paid close attention to what Salt Lake City Police Detective Corden Parks was saying. Tapia says it was news to her. I didn't know that they had DNA from her fingernails because I asked them a long time ago if they had checked her nails, if they had any DNA, and they told me that she didn't have any. The episode also revealed police submitted the DNA to a laboratory specializing in genetic testing. It's the same DNA genetic laboratory that helped lead to the arrest of a man suspected in the Golden State murders. Salt Lake Police have over 60 samples from people of interest. The family's investigator says that's a promising development. If they can solve the Golden State killer murders, Clearly, we can solve Rosie's murder, and I'm, I feel pretty confident about that. Rosie's mom is also hopeful, but she wonders why she had to learn about new details in a news story. I would like to know what's going on in Rosie's case. All through the years, all I wanted was to know what was going on in my daughter's case. A spokesman for the police department says he doesn't know why the Tapia family has never been told about this so-called new information. He says the homicide unit, which oversees this case, was not around today to be asked that. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.